Good morning and welcome to our story time this morning. Today begins a new series in our reading and we will be taking our stories from the book Do Elephants Jump? written by David Feldman and it is an imponderables book published by Collins which is an imprint of Harper Collins Publishers. So today's topic, first topic is why was he called the Lone Ranger when Tonto was always hanging around? The classic Western features a lone hero entering a new town and facing a villain who threatens the peacefulness of a dusty burg. The Lone Ranger, on the other hand, came with a rather important backup, Tonto. Leaving aside questions of political correctness or racism, Calling the masked man the Lone Ranger is a little like calling Simon and Garfunkel a Paul Simon solo act. Before we get to the lone part of the equation, our hero actually was a ranger, in fact, a Texas Ranger. The Lone Ranger started as a radio show, first broadcast out of Detroit in 1933, created by George Trendle and written by Fran Stryker. The first episode established that, that circa 1850, the Lone Ranger was one of six Texas Rangers who were trying to tame the vicious Cavendish gang. Unfortunately, the bad guys ambushed the Rangers and all of the Lone Ranger's comrades were killed. The Lone Ranger himself was left for dead. Among the vanquished was the Lone Ranger's older brother, Dan. So for a few moments, Long enough to give him a name, the Lone Ranger really was by himself. He was the lone surviving ranger, even if he happened to be unconscious at the time. Tonto stumbled upon the fallen hero and, while nursing him back to health, noticed that the ranger was wearing a necklace that Tonto had given him as a child. Many moons before the Lone Ranger, who in subsequent retellings of the story we learned was named John Reed, saved Tonto's life. Tonto had bestowed the necklace on his blood brother as a gift. When Reed regained his bearings, the two vowed to wreak revenge upon the Cavendish gang and to continue making the West a decent place to live. Reed and Tonto dug six graves at the ambush site to make everyone believe that Reed had perished with the others and also to hide his identity. Then the Lone Ranger donned a black mask, which was made from the vest his brother was wearing at the massacre. Tonto was the only human privy to the Lone Ranger's secret. Not that the Lone Ranger didn't solicit help from others. It isn't easy being a ranger, let alone being a lone one and without a horse. As was his wont, Reed stumbled onto good luck he and Tonto saved a brave stallion from being gored by a buffalo and nursed him back to health. The first episode of The Lone Ranger featured almost as much medical aid as fighting. Although they released the horse when it regained its health, the stallion followed them, and of course that horse was Silver, soon to be another faithful companion to The Lone Ranger. And would a lonely Lone Ranger really have his own personal munitions supplier? John Reed did. The Lone Ranger and Tonto met a man who the Cavendish gang tried to frame for the Texas Ranger murders. Sure of his innocence, the Lone Ranger put him in the silver mine that he and his slain brother owned and turned it into a silver bullet factory. Eventually, during the run of the radio show, which lasted from 1933 to 1954, the duo vanquished the Cavendish gang but the Lone Ranger and Tonto knew when they found a good gig. They decided to keep the Lone Ranger's true identity secret, to keep those silver bullets flowing, and best of all, to bounce into television in 1949 for a nine-year run on ABC and decades more into syndication. The Lone Ranger was also featured in movie serials, feature movies, and comic books, and the hero's origins mutated slightly or weren't mentioned at all but the radio show actually reran the premiere episode periodically so listeners in the 1930s probably weren't as baffled about why a law enforcer 
with a faithful companion, a full-time munitions supplier, and a horse was called Lone. This story was submitted by James Telfer IV from New York. And that's our story this morning for our adult story time series. Um, hope you join us again next week. We'll take a look at a different topic. We hope you enjoyed Why Was He Called the Lone Ranger When Tonto Was Always Hanging Around. Until next time, stay safe, be healthy, and have a wonderful week.